Hey, thank you for watching the Ranger Rob channel. Oh, let's get started. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, Ranger Rob here. Thought I'd uh, tie in with you a little bit as we've gotten in, uh, a little more settled in here in Central Oregon. So uh, for those of you uh, getting caught up, we just relocated from Arizona, Central Oregon. And we just bought this uh, five acre place. And uh, what was cool about it is it used to be uh, Shuri's mother and father's place. We had the opportunity to buy it and uh, kind of helped us settle the estate to be able to get their stuff out of here in a controlled manner to uh, uh, other family members. So it worked out really well. Why did we buy a place like this? When we're in Central Oregon, I mean Arizona, and had a pool, and uh, yeah, we were perfectly happy, and uh, uh, no regrets. Um, but this came along, and you know the world gets more complex than it should be. But one of the things Sherry and I have been learning a lot about is being more self-reliant. Well, we really have started enjoying. Um, gardening and, and prepping and getting organized and it really paid off during this COVID stuff so uh, we bought this place so way back here we're going to actually set up a whole new garden for next spring we're probably going to do a few little uh, high towers uh, for tomatoes and the other thing is we've always kept our RV here and uh, because Sherry's folks were not real healthy all the time so for the last two and a half years we've kept our RV here and uh, so now everything we own is reunited uh, the biggest problem we got is all of our stuff is in boxes and then the stuff that's already here we're going to try to either distribute or take the goodwill or sell off um, to uh, put into the estate for all the other siblings so anyway, confusing, but necessary and helpful that we're here. Uh, doing it from a distance was just too hard. So some of the things I like about this place is Sherry and I will be able to do much more gardening. And we want to get more self-reliant. So the other um, positive thing about this property is it has its own well. So one of the things I'll do is have an electrician come in and allow me to create a circuit where I can sh get off the grid and power the uh, the well by a generator in case we just lose power and we lose power here uh, we get all four seasons here too so <laughs> gotta get used to that kind of weather uh, the next thing is uh, uh, we actually went into a co-op um, in a couple of months here um, on buying a quarter of uh, beef um, half grain half grass-fed and uh, working through a meat um, small meat market uh, so we're gonna stock up and get our own beef and I'll probably do the same thing with probably pork too um, I don't know if what I can do with chicken we'll see maybe I have to do my own but anyway uh, next year we'll also have our own chickens just a handful enough to supply us with our own eggs why? Just because the food shortage is going to be coming. There's no way with all the shutdowns of, the, of Tyson and all these other uh, meat processing companies and stuff, uh, we're not be going to be affected. And I just want to be more self-reliant uh, as far as water, as far as food, being prepared, prepping of course, having at least, at least six months worth of food and um, materials that we've learned from COVID that caught us off guard like paper products and stuff. Who would have thought? But I think we're going to see some serious stuff uh, probably by in, uh, next year. So, uh, uh, so far Sherry and I have been kind of on our game and been ahead, ahead of things and so hopefully this next step that we've just done here uh, uh, keeps us ahead of the game too now some of you guys might be shaking your head going 
being kind of paranoid, Rob. But, uh, boy, I tell you, when the COVID thing came and we were all stocked up already, I was pretty happy about that. So, um, felt like I got the last laugh finally. So one of the things I was going to show you is we do have a bare area right here. And this is where our garden's going to go in. So I do have a tractor that I bought. And uh, we will get this cleared out by the uh, early in the winter, around January or February. Start planting uh, with high tower and uh, a green room to get our some of our plants started early before we put them out here. I can ta tap into a watering system right here. We're good to go. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and eventually, this property, there's five acres, but three of it's already fenced, which has got, the reason it's fenced is it's a, uh, a deer fence, we call it. Keep the deer out. That's the biggest thing you'll get in your gardens here. And uh, so there's a lot of property beyond these fences. So... Maybe only three acres is actually accessible uh, within the fence. So it's kind of nice. So lots of privacy. So anyway, we're kind of excited about that. Lots of work. We do have to put a new roof on the house. And we're putting new siding on the house. Um, so this summer will be house improvements. And uh, next early winter we'll be getting gardens prepared and going uh, to able to be more self-sufficient gonna try some new crops like I've never grown corn before and I want to do um, tomato a little better job at tomatoes than I did last this year and of course my seasons are a lot different here than Arizona so it's kind of interesting so I thought I'd kind of give you a briefing of what you're gonna see for videos you're gonna see a lot of of uh, our dogs growing up, our German Shepherds getting big right here. That's Belle. And uh, she's loving this space. It's so healthy for both dogs. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more prepping as we're getting things set up. Um, uh, prepping and of course uh, gardening. So, <laughs> look at the size of this dandelion thing here. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen one that big before. Beautiful. <laughs> so when that thing spreads out, I'll have more. <laughs> Great. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on with the Ranger Rob stuff. I hope you enjoy what do. Of course, we've got the radio station and uh, 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 Easy Street. Uh, so uh, please make sure you watch those. Leave comments. Please like and subscribe to our videos. Um, Please uh, donate to the channel if you can to help us out. And uh, yeah, be happy, be safe. Follow our journey here. This is a big, big, big journey for us. We've got a lot of work to do. And uh, it's got such a dorky dog here. Anyway, uh, lots of work. Been good for the body. Lots of aches and pains. Maybe I'll drop a few pounds. That'll be a good thing. And uh, hopefully... A lot of you folks may be thinking about getting away from the city a little and uh, getting a little bit more privacy and being more self-reliant. And that's really what we're all about here. So anyway, guys, be safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.